Have you ever been told that if you start wearing glasses, then you might ruin your eyes or weaken your vision, making you more and more dependent on those glasses? Well, today I'm going to try to help you understand when it is a good idea to wear glasses and when you may wanna hold off on wearing them. So today let's focus on glasses. Hello, I'm Dr. Shania from True Focus Eye Care. Our goal at True Focus is to provide eye care and vision related education and advice to our patients, whether they are in our office or not. So if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then consider subscribing by clicking that little red button below so you don't miss any of our new videos. So I hear complaints all the time about not being able to see signs far away or words in a book. And when I ask, if they wore glasses or ever tried over-the-counter readers, they kind of look at me like I have three heads. They're confused as to why I would even ask. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? There are many reasons why we may have blurry vision. So prescribing glasses is not always the first solution we run to. If you have blurry vision that is off and on, or the clarity comes and goes, then you could be having issues with dry eyes, allergies, computerized strain, ocular migraines, or something more severe, uh, like issues that could be affecting the systemic health. So side note, if you are experiencing any of those dryness or irritation in the eyes, then make sure you check out our video for warm compresses. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is why having an optometrist or an ophthalmologist take a look at your eyes and listen to any complaints that you may be experiencing is so important on a regular basis. So think of the eyes like a silent watchman searching out to see if anything in the body might trigger its alarm. So if that alarm gets triggered, then the eyes might show you different signs by making you blurry or making you a little dizzy or even turning off the lights altogether. Now, before I jump into questions of why the eyes might get blurry, I wanna direct you to another video that might help you understand how the eyes work. This will make it easier for you to understand why and when the eyes may need help to see clearer. And in that video, I explain how the eyes can be compared to a camera. And you can find that video in the card above or in the description below. So if your parents wore glasses at a young age, then you have a greater likelihood of needing glasses as well. So genetics does play a role in this, and it can dictate whether we are nearsighted, farsighted, have astigmatism, or maybe a combination of all of them. What's in the air can also play a huge role in the quality of our vision. Pollen, dust, pet allergens, chemicals, overexposure to sunlight, and the list goes on and on. All these can really irritate the eyes and cause either excess tearing or a lack of tearing, which can affect our vision. In fact, our tears are responsible for about 60% of what makes our vision clear. Remember, a lack of tears causes a lack of clarity. There are many health conditions that can affect our vision like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid disease, and certain medications that can treat those conditions. Even pregnancy can also change someone's vision. Now, I never like using this as an excuse, the A word, age, but there are some issues that can usually arise later in life like cataracts, macular degeneration, glaucoma, dry eyes, menopause, and many more. So when someone is trying to figure out how to get their vision better, 
it may take more than just a five minute online test to figure it out. As an optometrist, it's my job to cross off all these things on the list to figure out what is actually causing that blurry vision and what might be the best option for my patient to get that vision better. After I know that the vision can't be fixed by any other means other than glasses, I would say the biggest factor that makes me want to prescribe glasses is my patient's complaints. When vision is affecting our job, school, hobbies, or any other activities in our daily life, it's time to start thinking about glasses. I like to say that glasses are a tool to help us get the job done. And just like any tool, if you don't need it, don't use it. But if I could end up hurting myself by not using that tool, then I better use it. Continuing with this analogy, if you're using the wrong tool, you could also make things worse. So sometimes the advice of a professional could save you a lot of trial and error. The, the what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, no problem. So the bottom line is this. Glasses are not always the best answer for blurry vision, but if they are the answer, then please listen to the advice of a professional, which is an optometrist or an ophthalmologist. We'll make sure that those glasses will fit you and your lifestyle. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss other videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. So don't forget to stay focused, stay well, and I'll see you next time. Oh! Nope, underhand. Overhand. Go Ready? for it. Ooh. <laughs>